Welcome to the pregame show brought to you by Napa Auto Parts. Kyle Howard here with Miner's second baseman, Caleb Wood. How are you doing today, Caleb? Good, how are you? Doing fantastic, thank you, Caleb. Thanks for joining us in the pregame profile today. Thanks for having me. We're glad to have you along. And Caleb, a special season for you guys this year. You guys have already clinched the home field advantage throughout the top of the World Series next week. that will be here in Palmer. Talk about how special that's going to be able to be able to play in that. Yeah, it's awesome, man. We've won 30-plus games here, and I don't think I've ever done that in my career anywhere. So, I mean, this is a pretty cool experience, and... Uh, Definitely a great group of guys we have here. Uh, hopefully going into the World Series, uh, everyone's got their mind right and everyone's ready to go. Fantastic. And uh, you come out here from Gonzaga where you've played with a couple teammates here. It's Eli Morgan and also Calvin LeBron coming up here with you as well. Talk about what it's been like to play with them, not only at Gonzaga, but now here in Alaska as well. Yeah, it's a great experience. Uh, every every year they send us off and we play with a couple of our buddies from back school. And uh, I got Calvin and Eli with me this year and they've been pitching well for us. Uh, a couple aces on our squad. and. Hopefully they, they can bring that back in the fall and uh, do well this year. They pitched very well this year, haven't they? And then you've played very well yourself over a second base, so it's making it a little bit easier on you in the strikeout batters, though. Oh, much <laughs> easier, yeah. It's much more relaxed out there. Um, but it's nice because they get you a few ground ball dole plays here and there, and that's real nice. That's perfect. And you yeah. played good defensively for this Miners team as well, turning some nice sidearm double plays this year. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. Defense has been one of my strengths. I've been working on it a lot, and it's real nice. It's come out nicely. Good, good. Yeah. Also, any uh, plans for, I guess, during your off day tomorrow, your final off day of the season, do you have any plans before the host dinner tomorrow, host family dinner tomorrow night? I'll just try and enjoy the last final off day in Alaska. I mean, it's it's gone, it's gone by quick. I wish we had a few more weeks here just to, to enjoy the scenery. Um, but it's been nice. Probably, probably just relax, maybe at the gym. Sure. And Well, what have you been able to do so far in your off days and while you've been in Alaska? What's been the most fun thing you've been able to do? Well, so far, probably one of my best days, we just went out to the lake, caught a few fish, and hung out, had a good time, you know, um, and uh, that's just that's just a great time. I mean, Alaska is a beautiful place, and uh, we've, we've definitely been able to enjoy it. And are you a fisher back home, fisherman as well? Uh, not too much. I, I, I like to be indoors, um, but the outdoors uh, part of me comes out when I'm in the Alaska and Washington. Um, I'm originally from Arizona, uh, but I made the transfer to Washington, which was pretty big. Um, being in the sun a lot, and then you go to the cold, and it's, it's a lot different. But uh, it's, it's very nice. Perfect. You know, let's get to know a little bit more about yourself, talk a little bit about baseball here. Let's talk about yourself off the field now and the kind of person you are growing up uh, back in Arizona, now spending your entire life out there, moving up to Gonzaga, and talk about what you're studying up there as well and, and what you're planning to do after college. Yeah, so I started in Arizona playing baseball at Valley Vista, uh, right across the street from the spring training stadium right there in Surprise. Uh, so I was always, my life was always revolved around baseball, and uh, going into going into college, I had no clue what I wanted to do. So I just figured I'll just go into business and see where that takes me. Uh, but my buddy has a uh, owns his own business without a business degree. So once I figured that out, I said, "This is kind of boring. I'm going to switch over to sport management, where uh, I, I really like that. I really like doing that, and hopefully I can get into a spring training stadium or something back in Arizona, and you know, get my foot in the door somewhere, and you know, get out there. That'd be real nice." Are you a frequent visitor at the spring training facilities down there in Arizona? Yeah, I've gone to a few games just because I know a lot of the managers over there, so I get into a lot of those games for like five bucks or sure. free. Uh, so it's real nice just going and watching some games, just being around the game. I love it. Fantastic. And your hobbies off the field as far as you don't get a ton of off days. I know playing, you're being in college and also playing baseball constantly. And what, what do you like to do in your off days as far as, maybe not in Alaska, but just in general? Yeah, well, at home I have a piano, so I spend a lot of my time yeah. playing the piano. Um, learning new songs I taught myself and then I uh, play a little Xbox do you? So, yeah okay so your favorite song to play on the piano and your favorite game to play on the Xbox favorite song to play on the piano I'm a big fan of uh, Journey so, so I could play a little Don't Stop Believing Journey's a very good band faithfully yeah that's what I like to play and then Xbox you said yeah, so I'm, I'm, a call, I'm a Call of Duty guy are you yeah are you? Call of Duty is my favorite game so that what you're doing back home in your free time then? A little bit, hanging little out bit. with friends and family. Yeah, my family are probably the most important to me. And uh, going off to college, a thousand miles away, has been a big change. And every time I get to go home and see them, it's real nice to just spend time with them and get back and make just to see that they're okay. So it's real awesome. And just a few days away from being able to see them again, is, are you are you coming back home after that, or are you going to Gonzaga? Yeah, I'll be home for a few weeks and then back to Gonzaga at the end of August. Um, so I'll just get home and relax for a few days and and get back on a plane and head back to Gonzaga for my last final hoorah. Trying to accomplish one thing before that, that aren't you, Caleb? That's won a championship here in 
with the miners here, aren't you? Yeah, that's well, that's one thing. And I also said I want to see a bear. So I'm gonna see a bear. So two things happens, gonna accomplish before yes, uh, sir. Before Tuesday night. Yes, sir. But I'm I'm going home with the ring. I'll tell you that much. Fantastic. You heard it here from Caleb Wood. Thanks for joining us on the Free Info Podcast, Caleb. Me. Thank you. Out the water championship is Caleb Wood. We'll be back in a moment with the starting lineups tonight. Listen to Matt Two Miners Baseball on the pregame profile of Caleb Wood and your Matt Two Miners Radio Network.